In this video, we'll learn how to graph linear equations by plotting points. First, let's look at the equation 2x plus y equals 3. Let's make sure that this is really the equation of a line. First of all, we need to make sure that we really have two variables. And of course, we have x and y here, so that's okay. The other thing that we need to check is that our variables are only raised to the first power, or that the exponent on our variables is 1. Notice here we have x to the 1 and y to the 1. So this really is the equation of a line. Now what we want to do is find two points on our line. And we can do that by choosing any x value. So first of all, let's just choose x equals 0, because that will be simple. And what we want to do is plug that into our equation and see what y value corresponds to it. So we'll take 2 times and we'll plug in 0 for x. And that leaves us with 2 times 0, which is 0, plus y equals 3, or in other words, y equals 3. So we know that the point 0, 3 is going to be on the graph of our line. Let's plot it. So we don't go to the left or to the right, but we go up by 3, so this point is here on our graph. Now, let's choose the value x equals 2. We'll plug that in to our equation, which gives us 2 times 2 plus y equals 3, or in other words, 4 plus y equals 3. Now let's solve for y by subtracting 4 from both sides. That's going to give us y equals negative 1. So we have the point 2, negative 1. Let's graph that point now. We'll go to the right 2 and down 1, and we have this point. Now that we have two points on our line, we can draw the line through those two points. Now we've graphed the line 2x plus y equals 3. Notice that we don't need any more points than 2 in order to know exactly where to draw our line. But we can't draw our line just given one point, because then we could turn, turn the line any way we wanted and still go through that point. We need exactly two points. Okay, let's do another one. How about 3x minus 2y equals 1? Well, this time let's choose x equals 1 for our first point, and we'll plug that in. So we have 3 times 1 minus 2y equals 1. That's going to leave us with 3 minus 2y equals 1. Now we want to solve for y, so let's subtract 3 from both sides. We'll have minus 2y, and that equals 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. Now we can div divide both sides by negative 2, which gives us y equals 1. So the point 1, 1 is going to be on the graph of our line. So let's plot that point. We'll go to the right by 1 and up 1. And that gives us the point 1, 1. Now we know that this point is on our line. Okay, now let's take the point x equals 3. We'll plug this point into our equation, so we have 3 times 3 minus 2y equals 1. This leaves us with 9 minus 2y equals 1. Now we want to solve for y again, so we'll subtract 9 from both sides. That will leave us with negative 2y equals 1 minus 9, which is negative 8. Now we could divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is 4, so we have y equals 4. So the point 3, 4 is going to be on the graph of our line. Now let's plot that point. We'll go to the right, 3, and up, 4. And that gives us the point, 3, 4. Now that we have two points, we can draw the straight line that goes through those points. And that is the graph of the equation 3x minus 2y equals 1. 